Police in San Antonio have arrested a 19 year old man um, after he allegedly told a coworker at an Amazon warehouse that he was going to carry out a mass shooting at that Amazon facility. Um, according to the arrest report, a five alarm fire went off on June 24th at Amazon delivery station. While employees were exiting the building, the coworker um, said uh, Aceves, this is the man's name, um, Aceves told her that it would be a good idea to pull the fire alarm and have all the employees exit the building and then to commit a mass shooting, according to the arrest report. Now, of course, that coworker, pretty scared by what they just heard, um, told investigators that Aceves then said he would be doing it and he would commit a mass shooting. She didn't immediately tell her supervisors for fear of, fear of retaliation, which is very scary. Uh, you should never be afraid of your employers of telling them what's going on for fear of retaliation. But of course, this is Amazon people, so they are heartless. And that isn't just fear of retaliation. Um, this is not by the police. This is by your superiors. Why are you calling out someone else? Don't bother us with this. Get back to work. Are you on a break right now? Um, so the woman said Aceves referred to the Uvalde shooter. This is the chilling part in, in addition to the other chilling part. Referred to the Uvalde shooter, 18 year old gunman who last month killed 19 children and two teachers, calling him an idol. She added that Aceves had recently said he was quote, tired of living and had purchased an AR style rifle. Let's look at it like a photo of my man. Um, this guy's working next to you at the warehouse. Talking about he doesn't want to live and he thinks that the Uvalde shooter is an idol. I think you're stopping everything that you're doing and telling your supervisors and telling the police. And so good on her for sounding the alarm. And he was uh, arrested. Um, and his father actually later told investigators that his son has a history of mental illness and stopped taking his medication years ago and spent time in a mental health facility on two occasions when he was 16. Family members were worried when they learned he had purchased a gun. Federal background checks conducted in Texas do not flag mental health admittance for juveniles. Um, and Aceves is now being held on a $50,000 bond. Again, this was in San Antonio. Um, it just happened, but good on some cops for thwarting this. This is another area of Texas. <laughs> right now, Francesca, we've got this bipartisan legislation that's gonna talk about or address uh, what they're saying with the gun and the, the, our mass shooting issues and our hopefully some kind of legislation that limits these number of things happening. And one of those aspects, of course, are red flag laws, which many folks on the conservative side are very upset about. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, John Cornyn, who's a part of that discussions, he went to their uh, to the state, the Republicans convention down in Texas and got booed damn near his entire speech with people screaming, no red flags, no red flags. Because when you see a red flag, which is completely and blatantly illustrated here in this case, they don't want people to have the authority, I guess, or the the fear for their life enough to go and report it and say, maybe we do something about it before he pulls a fire alarm, Amazon employees run out and he gets to shooting them. Maybe we should look into that a little bit. Because I think all these folks who chant about no red flag don't really understand how it works because they've been listening to Ted Cruz, people like Steve Scalise who wanna continue the murderous ways of our country and say, oh, we're gonna take away law abiding citizens rights to to shoot up their entire workplace. Mm -hmm. Why would we do that? Because they mm -hmm. get paid. To do that. So when people say maybe we should look into people, when someone blatantly says to someone else, I'm going to kill you guys and myself next week, they would like for that person to have no recourse and just die. Right. And to be more specific, you know, this, the new federal law, although does very, very little, but it focuses on that window between. I mean, honestly, minors, right? So around 16 to 18, and again, this man was 19. He had a history of mental illness. He was hospitalized on two occasions when he was 16. Um, now, the question is, would even when this bipartisan legislation goes into effect, would it have caught someone like him, right? Or was it on this person who happened to hear him say it out loud, which is again, 
kind of a big red flag. Like, mm. you know, the other, the Uvalde shooter was online. He was talking to people around the world and uh, just about his desires and, you know, all whatever he wanted to do, him buying an AR 15. Much more difficult to have to know how to um, alert authorities to someone like the Uvalde shooter versus this case. But you're, you know, it's like, for me, I'm like that. At least there was this. This is exactly what that legislation would target. This is the kind right. of person who that would target. Um, and then again, and here's my other thing: is like when you're 16, how much of a record do you have? And being hospitalized for mental illness, that's not a criminal act, right? That 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 shouldn't be criminal. Obviously, it factors in whether you want to buy an AR-15. But I'm also thinking, like, like the Uvalde shooter, there was no record, right? The Uvalde shooter would not have been prevented in Texas from buying that AR-15, even under the new bipartisan legislation, because he didn't have a history of mental illness. He didn't have like stays in a facility that this potential shooter did have. So. I don't know. You know yeah. what? There's other rights that we have, and I know a lot of times people compare it to like a, a, a driver's licenses, and I think it's a good one. Um, so we don't want anything that you've done that would uh, uh, would uh, illustrate you being a bad driver, maybe a danger to others, to be recorded. Imagine if we use this for this type of thing. If someone has had multiple traffic violations, have been in fender benders, and can, and your insurance goes up number one from that. Why is that a, a red flag? Because right. right. he's shown he's a bad driver and he could hurt other people. He he runs red lights, please keep pulling him over. He keeps speeding, goes 90 miles an hour on a 45. Um, all these things compile and, 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 uh, and, and stack up on your license record. And you know what eventually happens, Francesca? They take your damn license away and you can't drive anymore legally. Now to keep doing it, then they, they uh, do things like arrest you, take away your car. Why is it in this case, when someone openly said, I'm gonna murder people, and that's the strike against their ability to, to do so, we don't want them to have that taken away. Right. On that one instance, it doesn't have to be but one time for you to shoot up an entire uh, a workplace. Are I we mean, okay with that? I mean, you're talking about cars. People get their kids taken away for less, some rightly so, some completely unjustly so, right? Mm -hmm. So like you, you can get your kid and your car taken away. But if you're a domestic abuser, if you issue threats online, if you harass people routinely, no, we don't want to know about that. You keep your gun. You keep anything. Oh, have more weapons. Yep. Have all the weapons. Get you them online. They, you notice they say law abiding gun owners. And well, these are legislators who create laws or don't create laws. Absolutely. So they can craft who's a law abiding gun owner. They can say, hey, you can threaten your girlfriend. You could have had a gun before. You could have even said, I'm going to shoot you next week, like this guy said. And as long as our law that we created that we don't want to actually have any punishment for that, you're now a law abiding citizen. So was the guy who shot at the Tulsa hospital. So was the kid who ran up in Uvalde. They were law abiding gun owners. Right. Because the laws wouldn't stop someone like that. Right. Background checks can only go so far, even when they're implemented properly. Oh.